once you've gone digital, you can't go back. It makes the world so much broader for our kids. Um, it's been a wonderful um, experience for our kids, and uh, it's had a wonderful impact on this school. Um, it's, uh, you walk into this campus, and it looks more like a college campus now than a typical school campus, and that's all because of our digital technology. I think it's really cool to use it and very useful because I can keep track of my work and everything's just right there. And also just having all the websites online, all the textbooks and everything, it's just all in one place. I like it personally because you're able to do like more things than if we just had paper because we can share stuff and um, like type on the same document at once and like converse and we can even do that at home. In addition to allowing the students to interact more with the material, it's allowed the teachers to get instant feedback in order to monitor each and every student to make sure that everyone is up to speed before we can move on to the next topic. I was highly surprised by how our teachers took to it. The, the old timers like me were worried because we would have to learn a new way of doing things. Um, but once uh, they went through the training regimen put on by the district, and actually got their hands on it, they now tell me they couldn't go back to the old ways. It just makes them far more efficient in how they operate. We have to integrate our new teaching strategies to a digital realm, sort of like upgrading your software to 2.0. Okay, so it's essentially teaching 2.0. It's the way of the future. It's already financially supported and it's proven to be financially sound. Um, we have very low loss and damage rates on these devices, a lot lower than we had on textbooks in the past. So uh, in the end, it's a money-saving measure as well. Honestly, it's helped me with learning and homework. I believe we should continue to use this and I think it's the way to go in the future.